Yesterday at 10 p.m. I turned off my internet. This makes already about 12 hours of offline time and I'm still alive. Well, that's maybe because I slept for like 10 hours. My goal is to spend the next five days offline. And the reason for this experiment is very simple. Focus. I am totally addicted to the internet. And I constantly find myself playing ping pong between each notification and the work I actually want to get done. It's always just one more scroll, just one more video, just one more news article. And this principle of one more piles up to hours of wasted productive time. Things need to change. The twist on this challenge is that for the next five days I'm mostly stuck at home and I have to lay down in bed because I have terrible back pain and no internet. The best part is that I have a long to-do list and my greatest goal is to see if I can stay focused and complete everything on the list until the end of this week. Let's see how it goes. <laughs> I'll need five days just to get up from here. <laughs> I caught myself checking my phone a few times without any reason and then I received a few SMSs and my heart started pounding. <laughs> I, was, I was so excited. <gasps> Although I knew that these SMSs have absolutely no value, nobody's texting me in such way and I still got the rush. So this is like, I guess like the biggest sign of the addiction. But other than that, I had no problems whatsoever. I was able to concentrate very strongly on whatever I was doing. I was completing a lot of the tasks that I had. And it's not like I need to get online. I, did, I didn't feel this rush of I'm missing something. I didn't have FOMO at all until now. Let's see how it goes. It's the very first day of the challenge and I was already online. But it was for a very, very short period and it was to open up an email that is super important. And now I'm out to what I needed to do for work so I need to do some <laughs> rules here for the challenge and the most important one is that if it's something important or something very productive I will go online do whatever I need to do very quickly and then go offline again yes and my back really hurts from driving around I'm so focused and so productive this very first day that I even managed to make an amazing discovery. I always thought that phones have a problem with the batteries and that the manufacturers need to find a way to make the batteries of smartphones last a lot longer because I remember the day, yes I'm that old, I remember the day that I had to charge my phone once a week or so. but. Turns out it's not the battery's fault. My battery is at 70% and I talked on the phone quite a lot, but I didn't use any internet and I didn't use it every five minutes to look at things that I don't even need to look at. <sighs> One of the hardest things to do when you have a back pain is to put your socks on. Yesterday evening, I saw C scrolling through Instagram while she was in bed and I just caught it with the corner of my eye and I was like so attracted to look at her screen and look at what she's scrolling through and she was like, uh-uh-uh. I think they put something in these apps, especially the social media apps, like, I don't know, it's, it's, it's like drugs and you feel like it's pulling you in like ah oh. anyway let's see how today goes
something very interesting happened uh, it's only the second day and uh, my focus has increased immensely so I guess problem solved but I also noticed something totally different and unexpected to be honest at the end of the day I'm a lot less tired and part of the reason maybe it's because I am laying down most of the time but you know, on a regular day, I will be going through apps, I will be going through news, emails, anything you can imagine on the internet. And at some point, I'll be sitting at home at the end of the day and I'm like uh, super tired for no real reason. I I'll be like, what the hell happened today? I feel like nothing got done. I, I feel really, really tired. And today uh, I'm studying for a scuba diving exam, I'm working on some other stuff and I could stay longer in one place and, and not lose track of what's going on and uh, go crazy in my mind uh, and the result is that I'm super fresh even at night when I go to bed I don't feel like I'm sick of working I, I feel like I can do even more and I can actually I have to push myself to stop working and you know go to bed or do something else because I'm so energized and it's interesting that people don't really realize this how much efforts we we lose and um, you know trying to to be very concentrated or to gain our concentration back after you have checked uh, a message or, or something and when this happens like every five or ten minutes and the brain has to kind of concentrate every five and ten or ten minutes uh, it's super hard and it's super tiring super interesting maybe I should start changing some stuff Quite often when I eat lunch, for example, I'm always scrolling through Facebook or any other app. I'm also watching videos on YouTube and I'm just binge eating like quickly and not enjoying what I'm doing at that moment. And the last few days, it's been weird, but I kind of have the pleasure of eating even more. I do love eating and I enjoy it, uh, but you know, sometimes when you're just like quickly putting stuff in your mouth it's n that didn't sound very good but anyway um, you don't get the experience of the food and now without the internet I truly enjoy myself a lot more and it's like in a complete silence and I, I don't know it's I have even more pleasure eating if that even makes sense but things haven't been all amazing and great and I'm not quitting the internet forever because to be honest I do miss a lot of things like uh, hitting up my friends, sending them memes for no particular reason, uh, watching my favorite YouTubers, uh, maybe watching an online course or how to edit something like uh, learn a technique or something, all those beautiful things that you do on the internet and not just waste time. I do miss them, but I'm sticking to the challenge. And yeah, that's for today. Today, I want to have a more analog day. The last few days I spent on my laptop editing and transferring footage and then so on and so on. And today we have a really, really fun activity, which is called uh, box of life, box of dreams. The whatever uh, the whole point is to fill in a box with all the things you see in your life or you want to see in your life I got this idea from a book and I think it's pretty cool and I'm gonna share all the process with you turns out we don't have that many magazines at home so we gotta go out and buy some <laughs> Women are dressed on the cover of Playboy. The world is going mad. Adding some money. Why not? We all need them. We 
are future proving this box. You might have seen this book in several of my videos dating two or three months ago and that's not because I'm trying to be smart but because I never got the time to finish it until today on the so-called analog day. Uh, I have another day without internet but I can tell you I'm already loving a lot of the things uh, without the internet. Yes, I'm hating a lot of things too but somehow you know doing the box and just finishing a book and all those things without interruptions without uh, picking up the phone for every five minutes it's been pleasure and somehow i i have more time to be with my thoughts and uh, to be in the process of whatever i'm doing and it gives me a, another kind of level of pleasure and Super interesting. I'm loving it. I'll I'll start implementing this in my monthly or yearly routines for sure. It's the final day of the no internet challenge, but today I have to go online for a little bit because it's a Sunday and I have to post a video. But I'm gonna keep it strictly productive. I'm not gonna scroll through any videos or whatever and also I can show you how we did the thumbnail for this video and if you're wondering what's this it's part of the vacuum cleaner and you're gonna see how we're gonna use it right now I have to admit this wasn't one of the hardest things I've ever done but it was definitely one of the most insightful I knew that I am addicted to the internet and I knew that I have to do something but I didn't really realize the effects it had on me and mostly on the focus that I'm losing in all kinds of apps and news articles and whatever you can imagine online. This is not only about social media, it's about the flow of information that you have on the internet and how it's bombarding you and stealing your time away from the things that really matter. That is why I decided to set some new rules for myself. I will definitely keep you updated on uh, my internet diet. I am going to go online tomorrow, uh, but definitely there will be things that I want to change and definitely there will be times where I'll just put my phone away or the laptop or whatever and I will be concentrating on the things that really matter because guys, it's not only the time that you lose watching at stuff but it's also the energy that you lose to kind of find your focus back your mojo back and get back to work and be productive and achieve great things and that's what i'm here for i want to live the happiest life possible and achieve the greatest things i could ever imagine and definitely this means cutting down my internet consumption that's everything for this video for this challenge guys i'll see you in the next one Ciao!